This series of videos will guide you through installing the Prior Fire Retrofit Fireplace Restoration System. This system is designed to improve, repair, or restore existing masonry fireplaces and can also be used for constructing new masonry fireplaces. Before installation, please review pages 2 through 4 of your installation manual for installation requirements and a list of needed materials. Before you install your prior fire fireplace, follow steps 1, 2, and 3 to ensure your existing fireplace is prepared for installation. Once these steps have been completed, continue to step 4 to begin. Step 4. Remove the two stainless steel side trim channels from the box. Install one side trim channel on each of the firebox side walls just behind the face brick, ensuring the tabs with mounting holes are pointing to the back of the fireplace. Use a torpedo level to ensure each side trim channel is plumb. Secure the side trim channels with quarter by one and a quarter inch hex head tap cons at two or three points using a 3 16th masonry drill bit and 5 16th driver. The distance from the face of the opening to the front of the side trim channel should measure the same on both the left and right sides. Step 5. Starting at the back side of the side trim channels, measure the length of the two side walls and the back wall of the fireplace. Measure a length of two inch thick aluminum face ceramic wool to fit the walls of the firebox. Then line the box with ceramic wool. Always wear a respirator and gloves when handling ceramic wool. Step six, remove the left and right side frames from the box. Then remove the back cross brace brick support and the 12 clip retainer tubes. Insert the clip retainer tubes into the left and right side frames. Each side will hold six tubes. Next, attach the damper bracket to the right or left side frame with an 11 32nd nut driver. Step 7. Insert the assembled side frames into the fireplace. Then, snap the back cross brace into position. Step 8. Drop the top stabilizer bar over the two front clip retainer tubes on the left and right side. Step 9. Remove the assembled heat dam from the box. Then, remove the bottom air inlet cross piece from the assembly. Temporarily attach the heat dam assembly base to the left and right side frames with two 832nd nuts with an 1132nd nut driver. Step 10. Position the entire assembly by moving it left, right, forward, or back as needed. Use a torpedo level to ensure the unit is level and plumb. Using a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch tapcon, 3 16th masonry drill bit, and 5 16th drill driver, attach the side frame to the floor of the firebox. Step 11. 
install the back wall plenum so it snaps down into the slots on the rear sidewall vertical channels. There is a handhole slot on each side of the plenum to help you position it properly. Step 12. Install the first A-clip by slipping it over the bottom set of cat bolts and sliding it down so the prongs of the clip engage in the slots on the bottom back brace. Ensure the A-clip matches the A marking on the plenum. Use the 9 64th T-wrench to tighten cat bolts. Do not over tighten. Step 13. You can now install the side wall brick, starting with either the right or left side. There are 28 total pre-cut bricks for each side wall, and each brick is stamped with the course number, position, and wall. Set the first course of brick into the bottom channel on one of the sides, starting with the back brick. Once a course of brick has been laid, install the sidewall retainer clips. The head joint tab of the clips can be bent to a 90 degree angle using the side notch of another clip. Begin with a front corner clip, bend down the tab that lines up with the head joint, then snap the clip onto the vertical pole. Install the remaining sidewall clips for your current course, bending down tabs when necessary before snapping to the pole. Once all tabs are in place, install the drop pins through the slot on the clip into the kerf cuts in the brick. At the front of each course, measure the length of the face return brick from the short point, mark, and cut as necessary so it fits inside the vertical side trim channel. Using a fine tooth crosscut saw, cut the return face brick for each course to proper length so it fits behind the reveal of the vertical side trim channel. When bending corner clips, only bend the proper pin to ensure the clip fits. Do not bend both pins. Place a drop pin at the end of each course to ensure the next course is level. Repeat this process for each course until the first side is complete. Ensure the top of the seventh course also gets clips and drop pins. Attach the top stabilizer bar to corner clips by placing drop pins through the slots. Step 14. 
Now it's time to grout the sidewall brick. To mix heat shield fireplace mortar, you'll need a clean one gallon mixing pail with three and a half cups of water. Add 10 level cups of mortar to the water. Mix manually or with a drill and small paddle mixer to a smooth, lump-free consistency. You can add additional water in small increments if needed. Using clean water and a sponge, wet a side of the fireplace. Grout all the joints with mortar using a silicone-faced margin trowel float. Push mortar into each joint until full. Scrape off excess mortar with a putty knife. Then wash the face of the brick with clean water and sponge. Repeat this process for the other sidewall. Step 15. Next, install the back wall brick. There are 18 pre-cut bricks for this wall and each is stamped with the course number and position. Starting with the left brick labeled one left back, place the brick so the tabs of the A-clip slip into the bottom groove of the brick. Slide the brick all the way to the left, repeating this process with the center and right brick of course one. Slide each brick onto the tabs of the installed A clip. Next, slide the B clip over the back cap bolts and onto the first course until it lays flat on top of the brick. Tighten the two nuts using a 964 Allen T wrench to secure the B clip. Do not over tighten. Repeat this process for each course of brick placing each brick and sliding it left or right to ensure even head joint spacing. Top each course with an included clip, ensuring the letter on the clip matches the letter on the plenum. Do not grout the joints in the back wall. These joints are intentionally left open to provide preheated over fire air for more complete combustion and reduced emissions. Step 16. Before proceeding, if you are using the Prior Fire Smoke Chamber Restoration System, finish blending the Prior Fire Formula 51 Smoke Chamber product to close any gaps between the top of the unit and the chamber wall. If you are using the Prior Fire Stainless Steel Smoke Dome, lower it onto the Prior Fire Retrofit Unit and secure it to the top of the unit. Step 17. Now that the back and side walls have been assembled, remove the floor cassette from the box and set it in place with the insulation side down. Install the floor cassette center channel by inserting the tabs into the slits on the bottom floor. Step 18. 
Place the heat dam assembly on a flat surface with the three studs on the narrow side pointing up. Place the front bottom air inlet cross piece on top of the heat dam with the back tabs facing the side with six panels. Secure with three 8 washer nuts and 11 32nd nut driver. The assembled heat dam is attached to the retrofit at four points the two studs facing forward on the front of each sidewall and on the center floor channel. Slide the completed assembly over the studs and secure with two 8-32nd washer nuts and 11-32nd nut driver. Attach the heat dam assembly to the floor cassette center channel with the two included socket head screws and two 8-32nd washer nuts. Use an 11-32nd nut driver and 964th Allen wrench to secure the nuts and bolts. Step 19. Install the floor cassette top. Set in place by using the handholds and place on top of the floor cassette bottom and center channel, making sure it is seated properly, locked into place, and level. Use a dead blow hammer to gently tap into place if necessary. Step 20. Place the two pre-cut layers of 3 8 inch ceramic paper over the top of the cassette. Step 21. Now lay the floor brick. These bricks are not mortared into place. The position of the floor brick is shown in this video. Lay the brick directly onto the ceramic paper according to the diagram, starting with the back course. The completed floor brick should fit tightly inside the unit. These bricks are not mortared into place. Step 22. Finally, attach the cast iron log retainer. The retainer grill is cast in four pieces, a short and long left side piece and a short and long right side piece. Remove the hex nuts from the front of the heat dam. Attach either side short piece, then the corresponding long piece, using the 12 included cap nuts with 11 32nd nut driver. Once the log retainer grill is in place, the installation is complete. For additional installation questions, call customer service at 800-860-6327 or call your Heat Shield Territory Manager.